common logarithm and natural logarithm. Now, we are having two types of logarithm, one is common logarithm and then natural logarithm. If you are just going for a scientific calculator, you will be having both the value, you will getting one value in the books that is different and second value in the scientific that is different and in the scientific we are having both the values. Okay? So, do not be confused that what is the difference in this. Now, just look here. Now, if the base b is equal to 10, then it is common logarithm and if the base b is equal to e, then it is a natural logarithm. Is it clear? Now, common logarithm and natural logarithm. Now, natural logarithm is denoted by log we are writing just this one l and n this represents natural logarithm okay now in this chapter in this chapter log x denotes the logarithm function to base e it means we are going for the natural logarithm we are not going for the common logarithm okay in this chapter log x denotes the logarithm function to base e and log x will be written as simply l o g of x is it clear we can write this one also, but normally in the books you will find log x written in this form and basically what this is? This is what? Natural logarithm. Is it clear? Now, just look the figure. We have gone through the exponential form there what it was? It was the graph was moving like this from a point and going towards the y axis and when it was y y is equal to 10 raised to power x then 0 comma 1 was the point and from here graph was pointing. Now, exactly different from it. Now, here it is 1 comma 0 there it was 0 comma 1. Now, here is 1 comma 0 from 1 comma 0 the graph goes away from the y axis. Is it clear? It goes away from the y axis just opposite to the y axis. <coughs> now, we are having three different graphs you can just check it logarithm function to base 2 this is for base 2, this is for base e and this is for base 10. All the three graphs they are moving towards myself away from the y axis. 